Hello, fans of the ULT. This actually happens to be the 100 subscriber video, which I guess that means ver I will reveal the Ultimate Life Tester's name. It is Veronica. Who are you looking at? Well, I'm her husband. And this is my husband does my outro, intro, and voiceovers. Have you ever made a rug mat? No, a doormat? Well, I'm about to teach you. So get your brain ready for some learning. Go to the Dollar Tree and build this. This is what you'll need. So obviously you're gonna need a floor mat of some kind, something for you to walk on, some kind, something coarse. You can get that at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Link below. You're also gonna need some multi-surface paint in whatever colors are a nice contrast. But you could also use spray paint. If you use paint, you're gonna need something to apply it, like a sponge or a brush. Then you're gonna need some tape, but also some fabric tape. One with an adhesive side. You could buy some from Amazon. Link below. Then scissors, an X-Acto knife, a hot glue gun, some chalk, a ruler or something with a straight edge because you're gonna need to make a hexagon. A he hexagon. Something with six sides. But also some acrylic coating. So you guys should know, I haven't actually tried this before, so you're gonna be finding out right alongside with me if this, this actually works or not. And spoiler alert, it kind of doesn't a little bit. So first thing you're gonna need to do is create the shape of the hexagon. Put your mat on any surface you don't mind getting a little messy. Then take your straight edge of some kind and map out where it's going. Map out the six sides using your chalk and then go for it. Now you've got your hexagon shape. Next, you throw on a piece of tape to separate the two colors that you'll be using. And any color is fine. This is a really good hack if you've got a ton of stuff laying around. If you've got the material, if you've got the paint, go for it. Hey, get back to work. Now it's easy, just paint. Unless something horribly goes wrong. Okay guys, here's the thing. I'm, I wasn't thinking and I just started painting um, directly on the mat. And if you can see here, the paint is seeping into the mat and it looks like we haven't painted at all. So it's not working, but what I'm gonna do, cause duh, I just remembered I had this uh, acrylic um, coating. I'm gonna coat it with this acrylic spray paint and let it dry and then try again and hopefully the paint won't sink in. Alright, we are back. It is a whole completely different day. So I had to try something different. I used spray paint after coating the entire mat with an acrylic coating and that actually worked. We decided to spray, but either paint or spray paint works fine. Bonjour and au revoir. No, au revoir. I'm trying to get that right. So what are you doing? Oh, I'm putting the words on it. Those are the words. The words that I will be putting on the mat. Washington. 
Next, you absolutely want to measure out where your words are going by pre-cutting them out and laying them out as you'll stick them. Okay, so I finished the bonjour part. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little tedious. It takes some time and precision, but I did it and this is what it looks like. A part not to forget is the Mod Podge. If you already have it, sweet, but you can get it at the Dollar Tree for one buck. Now, what this does is it creates a protective layer over the contact tape. Forgot about it. It's more trouble than it's worth. You just made a mat. Now step on it. Get the step in. In fact, watch Step Up too. We'll see you next time. Subscribe and view and like so that we could all just stop working and be YouTubers.